day, everybody. It is Kalaxin here with a reaction and review for Freerun episode one. I hope that you guys will enjoy this. I know I'm sort of late to the party, but I hope that you guys will still enjoy watching me react to this show and everything. And if you do, remember to check out the Patreon since Patreon will have reactions that are a few weeks in advance compared to YouTube. So for example, if you're seeing episode one on YouTube right now, episode two and potentially episode three may already be up for patrons. And then also the reactions on Patreon don't have any ads. So if that's something you're interested in, as well as the early access, be sure to check that out. Now, I like to talk about what I know about an anime before we get into the reaction, but I like to establish at the very beginning what I know about the anime. So while I was watching Miki and Dali and like the unhinged sleeper hits of last season, Freerun was considered, I think, the top anime of the fall. Some people are saying it's the top anime of the year. I don't know about that. I haven't watched enough anime this year because I had school up until August, right? So now I'm really getting back into watching a bunch of different things, but a lot of people say, well, I was off watching Miki and Dally. People are like, Cal, why were you watching that? Why weren't you watching this? So this is where everything was at. I don't really know anything about the show other than like, it's about an elf girl. Maybe she's an elf or like a fae who has already gone on this quest with her friends. And there's maybe a fae time situation where she lives longer than her friends, just logically. I'm assuming that's what happens, that is that she grows, not necessarily old, but sort of like how characters like say Mally is from Twisted Wonderland. He's 300 years old, but he's a teenager. It's that sort of situation. And so she basically doesn't age or she stays the same and she has to see her friends friends grow old. But otherwise, I don't really know anything about the plot. I don't know what she's doing now if it's the case that her adventure's already over. And I find that very fascinating because how often do you see a show like that where the adventure is over? Like, the, the big bad has already been defeated starting at the end. And can the end be a new beginning? I don't know. I feel like there's gonna be a lot of themes, like emotional themes and stuff. And almost like a coming of age, but in a rebirth, what do you do with your life? Almost like, like when people retire, you hear so often that people who retire kind of go crazy or like they go back to work because they don't know what to do with themselves. I wonder if it's kind of like that. And because of that, a lot of anime are directed towards teenagers. And so it feels like when you see a coming of age anime, a lot of the time it's in a teenage context where it's high school coming of age. You hardly ever see college anime or anime set in college. And so all the coming of age themes are more about graduating high school. And so I wonder if part of the appeal and why people like this so much is because it feels more like an adult coming of age. You finish a job and then you have to get a new one. Like those sort of things that we have to go through and possibly other things too, like grief and stuff if she does lose her friend. So I can see that being more targeted towards the adult demographic where it's not necessarily about like, what are you doing after high school and like finding yourself in that way. But when you already think you know yourself, what are you supposed to do afterward? Or if the idea that you had for who you are isn't the same anymore because the people that were with you that made up your identity are also not there. I'm just making stuff up. I'm not really sure, right? But I've heard it's really interesting and I also think a couple episodes released all at once to get people hooked, but I'm already here for it, so I'm just gonna keep them one at a time. But without further ado, why don't we just get into it? For the watch along, three, two, one, press and play. I am going to be watching in Japanese. That's nothing against the English dub or anything, but the subtitles will not pop up if you listen to English audio, and obviously I need that, so I just wanted to talk about that because I do know that the English dub is out since I'm watching a really long time after, like, you know, the show originally came out. But I love this song already. I know I talked over some of it, sorry, but I do like it already. It has a very, like, there's sort of a, like, Kingdom Hearts Face My Fears kind of beat, like, a, I don't know, like, a pop beat, but it also has those magical elements, too. I don't know how to explain it, you know what I mean? Like, fairy tale, but then also, like, modern. Oh, so, like, are these her friends? Oh, and I like that, like, you know, her friends, like, live on in her because she's the one who remembers them. I feel like she's going to have a romance with someone who's human and they are going to die tragically and it's going to be really sad. Like, you know what I mean? Or they're just going to die like before she does, like the person that she loves. I don't know. I'm just like, I'm like ready for the show to fuck me up. I'm so scared. Oh, hello. Oh, 
the chanting. I love that. I love how there's like two halves of herself, like maybe a new group of adventurers and her old friends. Like, I feel like there's so much symbolism in there and we'll have to talk more about it when we see it again. You know what I mean? When we see it again next episode, because I can't catch everything on my first watch, obviously, but I also can't pause. <laughs> oh, see, like many souls gather here. I spoke with the friends who once fought alongside me. So does that mean they're dead? Oh dear, I hate getting attacked and getting attached to people that are dead. Ugh. Oh, okay. Oh yeah, okay, so this must have been the before. Yeah, I'm just scared she had a romance with like this guy or something. Yeah, damn, they just defeated the monster, and this man's like, okay, back to work, let's go. Oh, yeah, I guess so, that's true. Little workaholic, oh, no. Oh. I like this, like, I like how you already feel like you understand their friendship. Mmm, no. Oh, it already hurts. It just, I don't know. I already, like, I kind of get it, you know? So I, I, it already hurts me. Like, the idea that he's like, oh, but your life is gonna be longer than we can even comprehend. I love, look at this little parade for them. Oh, this is so, like, this is, like, wholesome. Yeah, I mean, I guess if you defeat a demon king, is that like the king's corpse back there? Like, did you guys see that? There was a box or something. Okay, so it's kind of like D&D &D standard group, you know. Oh. Ooh, that painting's really pretty. Oh, nice. Oh, I love it. Oh my god, guys, I just, uh, music like this, I listen to this, like, outside of anime. Like, I just love, like, jaunty tavern music. <laughs> oh no! And what if, like, after 100 years she comes back and, like, she sees her friends and that's the only way she can see them is through the statue? I'm gonna, I'm already fucking myself up. Oh. Ten! Damn. Yeah, now the king gets all the credit. Even though he did not help, it's like, oh yeah, I helped you facilitate this. No, you didn't. Oh. Ugh. Oh. Guys, like, what the fuck? Oh my god, like, this is just so, like, this is just so different. Like, I don't know, it's just, it's... Oh my god! And like, they already have memories and like stuff that we're not privy to, but we're also seeing a little bit. I do like this guy's design. Uh, I like how he's like, no! Oh. Oh my god. I like, I like that, that, like, she's not perfect either, because I was kind of afraid that they were gonna go with something like that, I don't know. Oh, but they're nice little memories. Oh. That's, like, half of his life, I don't know. Yeah, exactly, like. Who knows? Who knows how old they are? Oh. Oh, it's a meteor shower. Oh no. I'm afraid, I'm just, I'm afraid that they're gonna like switch the shots to her. 
looking again 50 years later. I don't know. I'm just, I'm afraid. I'm like, when is it going to happen? But this is a nice moment with all of them. What do you mean? I thought the view was nice. still be alive in 50 years. He's not that, you know. He's still young. I like his little mole, too. Oh. That was, like, that was just so nice, like, seeing them all, like, celebrate together, and you have this sense of, like, that it's over. Wait, why? What? You're not gonna stay with your friends? What? No, but by the time you come back, like, you have to remember they're gonna be old, bestie. Yeah, I mean... Like, why would you do this now? Oh my god. She's like, see you later in 50 years. Holy shit. But maybe that's part of the regret. Also, I hope I'm not talking too much for your liking, guys. It's just that I'm really, like, I don't know. Like, I'm really interested in the themes. And so I'm trying to get out my thoughts before it happens. So I guess this is all the stuff that she did by herself. She said she was collecting spells. But she's alone! Like, was it worth traveling a lot? And she gets stuck with the mimic again. Oh, dear. Oh my god! It, that's not the priest, is it? Because he's in similar clothes, but... Oh! D oh, so none of them... Oh! So they just left it with the king?! Oh my god! But like, there could be a regime change in 50 years, like, you know what I mean? Yeah, like, that's what I'm saying, like, he could not even be the king anymore! Ah! Uh, that turkey just got murdered! That turkey just got captured! <laughs> off the street! Oh my god! Drum guy, he was already old, right? What did you think was gonna happen? Damn, this is so fucked. Oh. Wait, is that the dwarf guy or was that the tall, like the blue haired one? Oh? I must have read something wrong. I thought that she said she left it at the king, like, at the castle, like, with the king. But I guess she just meant the, maybe she was referring to the name of the ki the town. Like, maybe the city is, like, a king's landing sort of situation, right? And I misread it. Yeah, I think, 
I should have paid more attention to whose name was which. Because he has the same sort of eyes as the the blue haired guy, and he's also wearing that color, but Oh no, 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 the dwarf's right. Yeah, wait, what? How did he age that much? I thought the guy was like, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. So it is the blue haired guy, okay. But like, this guy looks the same. How did the, like, how did the boy that looked most like a teenager get so old? Like, you know, even if he was 20, if he was 20, if it has been 50 years. He, ah, he'd be 70. I've seen 70 year olds. Some of them do not <laughs> age like that. I guess, I guess so. Yeah, well, fine. <laughs> I suppose, but I don't know. Like he just, they aged him a lot compared to this guy who already seemed old. Like he was the youngest and he got the old, and, like he looks the oldest, which I guess is the point, like part of the point, but. Like. The green-haired guy looked so much older. I thought he'd be dead by now. <laughs> oh. Oh my god, okay. So they can still do a little adventure. They can have little adventure as a treat. Aww. Aww. That's so nice. No! need to be like is he that old this is a beautiful shot though like the show is just like laid out so beautifully bishop now maybe well maybe that's why she did leave them because she didn't want to get attached to them because she knew that this would have happened you know protecting herself. Oh! See, like, that's why she was trying to downplay it. Oh! Oh, I see. She's criticizing herself that she didn't she did they spent so much time together she had to have known the important things oh oh my god oh 
Oh dear. Well. He's so casual about it too. Like he knows that this is the last time that you're going to see each other. Like that's fucked up. You really don't know that it's the last time. Oh. Oh, uh, well, yeah, I mean, I guess he has his religion, I suppose. He's like, we did our part, so. Hmm. Oh. 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 I mean, you swung like that big Cerberus looking thing. Oh. bro and like how long do like dwarves live or is he i don't know but yeah like this is just such a beautiful first episode but yeah i wonder if it was like i don't know like maybe i'm taking her dialogue too literally or maybe even the opposite that i'm reading too much into it it's funny how both of those things could be a possibility at the same time but i wonder if it's like she didn't want to get to know them on purpose because she knew that this would happen but at the same time when he actually died she found herself wishing oh okay so it's been 20 more years oh Is she going to adopt some kids? Because that would be fun. Oh? Oh, damn. Yeah, he was like, I'll be dead by the time you see me. Oh, my God. I guess maybe she's just like a, not a nun, but like, you know, I don't know, priestess in training, like church ward orphan stuff. Yeah. Oh, well, that's, oh boy. Hmm. Okay. Nice. Oh, okay. Yeah, who's going to take care of this kid? Yeah. Oh, okay. I like this setup. That's interesting. Why? Bestie, what do you mean? Oh my god! She can hear you! Oh, well. That's fair. Okay. But... Okay. Uh-oh. No, if there's anything I know about Full Metal Alchemist, I'm like, uh, I don't know if reincarnation's a good idea. 
Oh. Isn't that all we want is just a little more time? This show, oh my god. <laughs> oh, well, I suppose. I like her little corrupt priest thing. Mm, so I wonder if she'll actually have to stay here, right? Like, don't take the girl on your adventure, stay here, decipher the book, and then teach the girl in your spare time. Like, I think that that's, he, he made it a little tricky, you know? Well, I mean, you kind of said, like, that she was useless to her face. I mean, that's not exactly what happened, but... Oh? Interesting. So people have like mana, like kind of like aura that people can feel. Oh, okay. That's interesting. Like giving her a goal that far away. I don't know, you know. Ah! It's like just out of reach. She's acting as if she's not phased by that. I'm phased, like what? Mmm. Somewhat an interesting answer, because it's like, is it just because you were born with it? Like, do you feel forced to go into it? Oh, okay. Well, that's, that's all we, oh, that's all we have time for for today. Oh my goodness, that was such, like, a strong first episode. I wonder why they released multiple episodes at once. I feel like that, like, that's all pretty self-explanatory, you know? Like, that's pretty self-explanatory in terms of getting people into the show, like, in terms of where we're going, like, what it's about and stuff. I don't know why they would necessarily need two episodes, but yeah, that was such a strong first episode. Oh, yeah, I didn't... I didn't want to bring this up during the actual reaction portion, but, like, all the stuff just, I don't know, about death and, like, what your life is supposed to mean, like, that just hit me really hard. I don't know. I don't know if I should be watching the show. <laughs> I laugh, but, like, you know, if you guys have been following my channel for a while, like, you know, a couple months ago, I lost somebody very important to me. So it's just, it's hard to, I didn't want to bring it up during the reaction, but that's all I was thinking about when her friend died. Like, that's all I was thinking about seeing that little old man. But, um, yeah, like, I feel like, I don't know, I haven't, I need to rewatch the scene where she was talking at his grave because... I wasn't entirely sure, like how I mentioned that before, like I'm not entirely sure whether she held herself at a distance from him on purpose or just simply regretted not getting to know him more. Oh. Oh my god. Oh, well that's like foreboding and a little bit suspicious. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna keep it there for today. But yeah, I thought that was a really strong episode. I love how they developed this this sense that you you understand how the friendship dynamic works and how the group works, even though you're seeing them at the end of their story. Like I feel like that's a very hard thing to do. Like it's hard to get people invested into this group of friends if they haven't been there for the entire time, right? But like they did a very good job at establishing right away 
the relationship everyone has with each other. I thought that that was really good. Their roles in the dynamic in the group, how Freerun is kind of, I don't know, detached from them in a sense, but then you see in the little flashbacks, right, of all the adventures they had, especially when the leader, he's talking about, oh, we went on all these adventures together. Like, she feels like that she didn't get to know him enough, but in all their flashbacks, she seems very emotive and part of their group and having fun with them. It's not like she's like in a corner with a book or something. So I feel like that there's an interesting case here of the things we're seeing compared to the things that people are saying. Not necessarily that it's not true, like not a faulty narrator or anything, but from her perspective, she's being really hard on herself, I think. Whereas in those flashbacks with the boy, I see that they're all having fun and that they were all really good friends. I mean, I guess I, you can always want to know someone more, right? Like that's always going to be the case. No matter how well you know someone, you're always going to wish that you had spent more time with them, I think. I think that's a very natural thing to feel but it seems like that yeah i just can't settle on whether or not like she detached herself from the group on purpose because she was afraid of caring about them because she knew that she would lose them or if she had a more casual attitude because maybe she's still a young elf and hasn't necessarily gone through this before this group so she i can't tell if it was carefree like i have plenty of time or if it was like an intentional choice to stay away i'm not entirely sure out of those two which one it was but looking at their flashbacks together i think she is being a little hard on herself because when i see those i don't know it looks like that they were all pals and they were all friends so i feel like that there is a case of she's being really hard on herself but that they had a lot of good memories together and they had a lot of good times together and they were there for each other during the adventure when it really mattered. I don't know. I'm just saying. We'll find out, I suppose. But yeah, I'm assuming where things are going is that her last friend, the priest, is going to die and basically leave this kid in her care and she's going to have a ragtag group of orphan sort of situation and that they're gonna go on a next adventure together and she's like mom i think that's very interesting that i didn't expect that to be the case i expected her to find i don't know new friends it could be a found family and friendship thing but i'm kind of seeing that she's gonna be like mom <laughs> she's just gonna like pick up a bunch of, again, like orphans along the way or something like that and raise them to be good and to help save the world or something. I don't know. And that's her new purpose is, is teaching others and passing down the knowledge and all of that stuff. So I'm excited to see. That's my prediction, I suppose, for where things are going. I think we will see more flashbacks with them because there were a couple suspicious things like the ring and stuff. I wonder if there was a deeper romantic relationship with the blue haired guy and she said no. Maybe I'm just, you know, looking at things through like a heteronormative lens. Like there's a girl and a guy. Of course they need to be romantic together. Like maybe I'm out of pocket, but just, I don't know how they looked at each other sometimes and how she talked about them. I feel like that they're maybe part of the regret was that there was something unexplored there where she was like I don't want to get involved with a human because you're going to die right and that they knew that and so that's also why at the end she still regrets the fact that she didn't get to know him better and that like she's like oh I only spent 10 years with him but I think that that 10 years still even though your life is long that doesn't change that doesn't change how the memories feel I feel like there's something going on with them I feel like that there's something that may have and she was like fiddling with the ring and I don't, it didn't look like an engagement ring, but it was in the OP, I believe. We saw it another time. There was another time that we saw it. And so I'm like, mm, I'm a little, I'm sus. I'm a little sus. But anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed. I hope that you guys had fun. Thank you for attending Kellogg's Royal Court. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.